Hello everyone, welcome to another Loom Legacy video. On this Loom Legacy video, I'm gonna show you that new NPC. If you beat them, you can get a free ace disc. So that's what this video is about. I'm mainly just gonna show you what his team is. No matter if I win or lose, we're at least gonna see what his team is. So you know what to prepare for, so you guys can destroy him and get your free ace disc. But yes, before I show you where that NPC is at, I am Gore Punk here on the Goriest Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me on my Twitter at Gore is punk thumbs up thumbs down either way guys thank you for stopping by and checking out this ll video but yes right where you start out in sephiroth village city you start right here make your way down here see these yellow lines make a left right over here where the shops are and straight ahead there's like this little hotel area go up in here once you go up in here you talk to this npc right here three dots will pop up like he's not saying anything and a battle will start but if you win the battle you will get a free ace disc yes i'm mainly just doing this battle to show you what looms he has and kind of what he pulls them out in order but yes their looms are like level 55 or higher so make sure your looms are all raised all the way up which is level 50. so let's jump in this battle and see what looms he has so the one thing we do know, his first loom he pulls out is the Doku Mori, and if you do make contact with him, like a Milu move that makes contact, his ability will send out poison barbs, and that means every loom you have on your team will be sent out and get poison right away. So my best thing is Earthquake, because any other move on here actually makes contact. Earthquake is a melee move, but since it's an Earthquake that hits him and not me, I don't have the poison barbs sent out. He did bulk up, attack rows, defense, melee defense rows. Restored a little health because he has a health amulet. Let's, there we go, Doki Mori is out. What is their second loom of this NPC battle? He is about to pull out Sea Drake. So what I've been using is my Emo Fish because my ice move and my dark move is green arrow effective. Every time I have fought Sea Drake, I've tried every loom on my team, even the looms that I don't have here showing. He will do a thorn body slam which will one hit you. No matter what your health is, no matter what loom I've used so far, I've been one hitted by it. So let's do Mega Chomp. And we got him down to like 40% health. And there you go, he does Thorn Slam. Increases Thorn Slam strength, which should take me out in that one hit. And that has happened, this is my 18th time doing the same battle. So I'm gonna do the Jungle Jitsu. Swing my Power Pole. And we took him out, there we go. But what is their third loom for this NPC battle? He calls out Char Onyx. And I really don't fight Char Onyx or even used it yet, even though it's a really cool looking loom. But this Char Onyx does have the ability where he heals. He or one of his moves, I can't remember. I needed my Tickle Lips alive. Look at how much health he just got from killing me. But I'm gonna do Chili Chomp. At least none of those moves are in the red. And we took him out in that one hit. I should have just went there right away. So that was their third loom. And what is their fourth loom? The fourth loom is Metatoad. And I think it was my Garbantis that had everything effective. Usually my Garbantis and my fish I just pulled out is already dead. So I'm going to do Battery Ram. Oh my gosh, look at my health. It's seven now because of the Icicle Trap. I'm doing Battery Ram since melee defense is up pretty high. Just get his health down a lot. And wow, we left him with one freaking HP. 1 HP! He could have just died there, but he it left him with 1 HP. That is so messed up. And he did Cycle Blast and took me out. He has 1 HP. Uh, that 1 HP is down, and there goes his Metatoad. And their last Loom is Cosmore, and I have not been able to beat him. He does Meteor Crash and kills me in one hit, and I usually only have one Loom left. But right now, I got two left, but I'll probably die in one hit on each of these, because look at he is level 59. Let's do Jungle Jitsu. I'd rather have my crappy one die in one hit. And there he goes, dies in one hit. His last loom in the battle is Cosmior. You gotta do is take him out, and you get your free ace disc. This is like my 20th time doing this battle. No matter if I'm on my 800th time, I'm still gonna use my same looms until he kills him. Because every battle you do, you could, you could get a critical. You could go faster than him before. Stuff like that. But we can do Mega Chomp. It is a green arrow. Let's try to take him out. He did Meteor Smash first and took me out in that one hit. But yes, all you got to do is take out his Kaizumor and you'll get a free Ace Disc. But yeah, that Meteor Crash he does over and over and over really sucks. Because no matter what your life is, you're just going to die in that one hit. So your best bet is get Poison Barbs on a Loom or regular Barbs. 
But yes, that's the NPC you gotta fight. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that new NPC on Sephiroth City that if you beat him, you get a free ace disc. Yes, his limbs are all PvP style, and it took me so long to just get through that battle. It's mainly that Kazumor and that stupid C Drake will do a thorn body slam, which one hit any of my limbs. It just one hits him, which is pretty lame. He is higher level, higher than the level 50 we can do. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Either way, I'm Gore Punk at the Gorius Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me at my Twitter at Gorius Punk. And thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out this LL video of the new NPC battle to get a free ace disc. Pretty much just gonna call this video free ace disc. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you're at on this planet Earth. Later!